The actor James Mason died of a heart attack today at his home in Switzerland. He was 75. He was taken ill early this morning and died in hospital a few hours later. His final film, The Shooting Party with Sir John Gilgood, was completed earlier this year. With his second wife Clarissa, he's lived in Switzerland since 1962. Chris Lowe looks back at the career of one of Britain's finest film actors. James Mason made over 130 films, yet strangely there was an element of failure in his career. Speaking shortly before his death, he said he had not achieved what he had set out to achieve. He never quite became an international superstar, though in his early years he came very close, with films like The Seventh Veil, vale, in which he starred with Anne Todd. You belong to me. We must always be together. You know that, don't you? Promise you'll stay with me always. Promise. I think he had excitement about his personality, whatever he was playing. And it wasn't just a name coming in as a star. He brought something very, of course, much bigger. And he had great sex appeal. Indeed, so great was his popularity that in the late 40s he went to Hollywood, aiming to become an international leading man. But instead he acquired the image of a sinister foreigner, though a very good-looking one. He never won an Oscar, though he was nominated three times, first in 1954 for his performance in A Star Is Born with Judy Garland. And two years ago, he was nominated again, this time for his supporting role in The Verdict with Paul Newman. But for his final film, James Mason came home to star with Sir John Gielgud in The Shooting Party, which has not yet been released. You don't approve of our sport, I fear. It's not my idea of sport. It's my idea of murder. Ah, uh, yes. It's all right, Gus. We go on down to the marquee as soon as this drive is over. Aye, sir. Let the gentleman go, Charlie. James Mason, the son of a Yorkshire cloth merchant, became one of the outstanding British actors of the last 40 years. And it happened almost by chance. It happened rather accidentally, really, because I went into the business, that's to say, theatre, uh, to make a living, really, because uh, when I came down from Cambridge, nothing was happening. I was a trained architect at that time, but there was nobody was building anything. But I thought that I could make a living as an actor, so I went into the acting business. But the movies were coincidental, really, and uh, I loved movies. I've always loved movies. James Mason, who died today. His funeral will be held at the English church at Veve near his home on Tuesday.